the warmest weekend of the year so far is marred by dozens of shootings in Chicago, some of them deadly. Now residents and aldermen are asking what will be done to address the city's growing gun violence. And good afternoon to you. I'm Laura Stuarte. And I'm Ray Cordopassi. Ben Bradley is on assignment. This past weekend was the most violent of the year so far. More than 40 people shot in the city. WGN's Alyssa Donovan is live in River North with more on what happened, Alyssa. Ray and Lourdes, this is where one of those shootings happened over the weekend. I'm here on West Hubbard Street in River North. Police say a man was shot five times while waiting in line for a nightclub here on Saturday night around 10 p.m. That was one of several shootings that happened over the weekend here. Now, city leaders say that the warm weather played a factor in the violent weekend. However, they thought they were prepared. We knew the first warm weekend, whether it's late April, early May, it's always around the same time every year. We were expecting this to happen. We thought we had a plan and it didn't work. That plan involved making arrests, police intervening when fights broke out, and using surveillance video to track people carrying weapons. But second ward alderman Brian Hopkins says right now there are just not enough resources, mainly officers, to make that plan work. CPD is down at least 2,000 patrolmen at this time. We had 9-11 calls not being responded to for up to two hours over the weekend because there was such a long backlog and we simply didn't have enough police to go around. Around. 42 people were shot in 32 incidents between 6 p.m. Friday and midnight on Sunday. Eight victims died from their injuries. We don't go out at night anymore. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's a concern. People who live and work in the River North neighborhood not phased by the shooting outside the nightclub. Unfortunately, it's like the city's kind of getting used to this type of thing. So it was just business as usual. It was pretty chaotic. It, I mean, it happened a lot last summer, too. The final shooting police were called to over the weekend happened in Edgewater just before 11 p.m. on Sunday. Two people from that incident were taken to the hospital. It's sad. It's frustrating to see people frustrated, to see seniors scared to come outside, to see kids scared to do what they are supposed to do with their age. City leaders say after this weekend, they'll be reviewing the plans they had in place. We need to go back to the drawing board um, and see what adjustments can be made because to start off the summer this way is really getting off on the wrong foot. And since the beginning of the year, there have been more than 600 shootings across Chicago. City leaders say one of the main issues is that lack of resources and specifically lack of officers. Reporting in River North, Alyssa Donovan, WGN News.